So this video does go back a few years but I have given it a bit of a reboot, a bit of a polish and I've added in a few little extra tidbits to help you along the way. So have fun, good luck. We are going to try and turn this document into something that looks a little bit like this document right here. First thing we're going to do is we are going to change the margins to make them a bit shorter. So I'm going to go into page setup. I'm going to make the margins about one centimeter all around. We'll see how that goes to start with. Okay. Might give us a bit more room to play with. All right. Now we want to turn this into this, so the main heading or the banner. So I'm going to select that, Command X to cut that away, and then I'm going to insert a drawing. Uh, we'll just go with a basic shape like this. And then we're going to double click to get our text, or you can right click and go uh, edit text, same thing. And we want to center this, center, puts the cursor in the middle, and, we, uh, and it still does that anyway, it doesn't matter, we center it again, and we're going to italics it, and make it bigger, alright, so there's that done, except we want the color to be purple, and we want the writing to be white. I'm going to change the font though to Cambria. That looks better. Save and close. And there it is. Next is we want the issue 4 and the date in here. So we are going to create a right tab stop right over here and that has separated that right across just move that in a little bit just move that in a little bit too and I am going to make the font a little bit smaller and I'm going to italics it now we want to put this into a um, a table. This is going to be a table here to get these lines. So we're going to highlight those. We're going to copy, uh, cut, Command X to cut. Insert a table, one column by one row. So in other words, one box or one cell like this. And we are going to paste that. We'll format this to suit. That looks pretty good. And we want that also to be bold. And we want it to be blue. That blue. But we've still got the box, we don't want that. We just want the top and bottom line. So we click on that and then we go white on that and make that one white click on that one and we thicken it up just a little bit might be too much that'll do though and make that blue as well or purple as well might put in a little bit more space Change that to an 11 by 12, so it's a bit smaller. Now for this section, we're going to highlight all the text to there. Don't include the contents part, that's in the next section. Right, back to the start of the main body of text. While I'm at it, I'm just going to match up the font to Cambria. And we want to create three columns. Format, columns, not two. 
format, columns, three. Text a little bit smaller. Even smaller again, maybe 10 font. Looks good. And we want to get that Big Ben picture in there as well. Here's the picture, we're going to put it in. Just pop it in after the last phone number, after the zero just there. And then here we're going to put button towards and that is italic as well. So let's do that. So this one we need to add in the dots. There is a better way to do this on the on Word, but we are going to do it this old school way. Can space this out a little bit. By going to line spacing and making that 1.5. Now we've got one more thing to do and that is this bottom section here. So we need to go and grab that picture. So just like the first picture, I'm going to grab it from Google Classroom. Save image as that'll do, and I'm just going to drag it straight in. And there it is. Let's see if we can move it around a bit, which we can't very well. So I'm going to go to wrap text, and look at that, it moves around, so it means the text will wrap around it, which is perfect. We're going to put this in a text box, so we know in a table with one column, one row. Oops and just going to paste that in there see if we can't make that work okay so I'm just going to try and make that fit into this space so I'll delete some of those I want to make that picture a little bit better so we'll make it a little bit bigger make it a little bigger that way and we're going to crop that in a little bit um, just a little that way and a little bit that way Alrighty, and to hang on, wait, time out, time out. I clearly jumped over a section here. You saw that little bit of a skip in the video? Hmm, what's that about? Well, let me explain what just happened. So yes, I did skip over this in the video. Don't know why, but let's fix it. If yours looks like this, just grab the end of the table here and move that over a bit too. There you go. And then you can put that back in place. It's pretty close. Great. Put in some dots and then we're going to make that capitals. We're going to make maybe might just make this a little bit more deeper, tiny bit more spaced out, even a little bit more. No, not going to go that far, just that tiny little bit. No 100% correct way to do these things. So we're making it up as we go along a bit. That's not too bad, it's not perfect, it's not too bad. Now how do we get that purple bit going on? We're going to go bucket, background colour, and a light purple. So there you have it, I think that's as close as we're going to get. Let's have a look. Huh, I wonder if we can get rid of some space here. So sometimes you just need to have a bit of a play around with things to get them looking perfect. So ideally they should be lined up as well. These ones aren't. But now, yeah, that's pretty close. There should be a bit more of a gap there. So I wonder if I can just quickly try that by moving these. Yep, that actually looks a whole lot better. So it's just a, all about tweaking and fiddling and having a try of things to get it to look right. It's not perfect. Actually, there is one more thing. Notice how the text is straight down both sides of the column. That is called fully justified. So we're going to go into here. So we've got left aligned, centered, right aligned, and justify. Clicking on that makes that look a whole lot better to suit this.
so if you found that useful maybe check out one of my other videos and maybe even subscribe thanks for listening thanks for watching bye for now